Hello and welcome back to the BCS Atlas Cup. I had to alt tap real quick and hopefully in about two or three seconds, Blockman should show up once again. The bane of all yeah, existence. Okay. Yep, it didn't show up again. What? What's going on? I don't understand. Oh, it's back. It's there. All right, it's there. The game has showed up. All right, that was a unfortunate bit of technical difficulties, but we are back at you with uh, the BCS Atlas 2022 Cup. An unfortunate set of circumstances, but we have, thankfully, finally figured it out. And we're going off with the Swamp tip here. Swamp just coming off a very unfortunate, I believe, 9-1 to one loss against Summit. So they're really looking to uh, make their move with this game against Savannah, who also has not come out with a dub yet. Both these teams on a little bit of a cold streak, so you, you know that they both really, really need to get something started in this game. At least one team will, but we will see who that will end up being. Swamp, their offense just was completely stalled last game, partly from a very good summit defense, but also partly from some bad passing, maybe some bad positioning choices. But either way, we know that they can do it. We know that they can get the passing and the shots done. And we know Yui and Sono are very effective isolation players, so we'll see if they're able to bring it out in this game. Tumbleweed, mainly doing most of the work on the Savannah side of, of offense. We'll see if he can get a little bit more help. Um... No Zero has been getting some good opportunities, but just has not been able to finish yet. Uh, a little bit of a scary moment there for No Zero, almost getting stolen by Eucris. But Savannah managing to keep control. Fire Demon in the midfield, looking for a big pass up into Tumbleweed. He's in the big box! He's almost past Waldo, but Waldo able to stop his dribbling in his tracks. Big clear back to Snarb. I think uh, Waldo was trying to get it to Sono, but just barely overestimated it. No Zero now. Looking to make his move. He's dribbling. He's going back and forth. He finds Tumbleweed on the side of the baseline. Savannah getting stolen out of bounds, though. I have to go in from a throw-in. Taking the safe route with the throw-in and going back to their defensive player. It's not going to get you much uh, offensive stuff done doing that. However, you do guarantee at least a little bit more of a possession. Fire Demon trying to keep control of it. So far, Swamp has been playing some pretty good defense. We'll see how long it keeps up. Oh, an unfortunate. A lot of those situations, uh, it, it may look like an uh, offensive player just gave up on the ball, but they know if you're running on someone's head and you're not going to get the ball first, then you'll just end up fouling them. Tumbleweed ducking and weaving and almost gets it into Fire Demon for an open shot at the small box. Oh, bit of a ghost ball, but Kingston's got it. He had his ghost ball glasses on, so thankfully able to keep control. Sono hesitating. Takes it upfield, but two Savannah players are there to stop Eucrees. Oh, Snarb, unfortunate. Dribbling the ball right out of bounds. I didn't even expect him to do that. Looking for Kingston. Kingston looking for Yui, but oh, he flicks it a little bit too hard. You know, both of these teams are just desperate to get something done on the offensive side. Their defense is very very good on both uh on both teams 
but they're just messing up that last crucial moment in a, such a good setup for Tumbleweed, but he jumps just a little early and goes soaring straight over the ball! Oh, okay, that was scary. I I really thought that ball was about to go in. Uh, T-Bone missing the self fast back from his teammate. Thankfully, though, we're not seeing a blunder in the first five minutes of the game. Uh, in this cup, we've seen a lot of very early goals, but not today. It's been taking time for the teams to get it rolling. Big pass into Kingston. A big shot. Oh, but just hits it on the side. That may have gone in. He was just a little bit more angled. T-Bone out of the box. Kingston, he's got a two-on-two, -on -two, or two-on-ones, rather. But not able to get past Fire Demon. Maybe he will be able to uh, get this pa this ball back. Sono on the backup. I I believe that ball was out. Or never mind, I guess the ball was not out. Uh, just from my perspective, it looked like Fire Demon had grabbed the ball out of bounds. But both teams managing to keep the ball in play. Tumble, keeping on his heads up. He's got his red hair right now. He is having a ginger moment at the moment. I'm not sure. I think he's just, you know, trying to get a change of pace, change of hairstyle. Maybe we'll help him out on the offensive side. Ukris has been doing a lot of very short dribbles, I've noticed. And while it's... You know, there's not very much time for the enemy to get the ball. Oh, big shot from Tumbleweed. That was a, some very fast play from Savannah, not wasting any time. It barely gave me any time to react, but Tumbleweed got that open shot, but T-Bone managing to keep it. Still 0-0 zero, zero for both teams. I think that's, that's, other than the Kingston shot, both teams have had one uh, real offensive opportunity. We've seen a lot of ISO uh, attempting to jump balls. Oh my goodness! Okay, I will. I will eat my words. That moment, I will. I will admit. In that moment, the ISO jump ball from Sono worked a crazy drift shot, just drifting to the right and letting the momentum of his jump carry that ball into the net. And a big steal from Tumbleweed, ending. Any fast break opportunity from the tip off. Kingston, big pass up. Oh, Yui, I think he just sometimes he just gives up on those uh those passes. If you see him start crouching even before the ball gets to him, it, it means that he's assuming that the other team the other team's player is going to get the ball and tumbleweed almost wide open, but good help defense from Kingston managing to recover. So Yui if you see a player crouch, they think they're not going to get the ball, so they're just going for the, the desperation steal, but it doesn't often work. Snarb, free to dribble upfield. Broken the ankles of Sono. A lot of space to operate, but Waldo managing to keep it in play. Tumbleweed almost certainly would have gotten a great shot on goal. He could get one here, though. Great defensive play, leading to good offensive uh, opportunities here from Savannah. Uh, you know when you're when you're getting these clutch steals, it puts a lot of pressure on the Swamp defense and opens them up to way more mistakes. So far, they haven't made any mistakes though, but it's a very small margin of error when you have that last player as the only line of defense. No zero, trying to keep possession. Yukri should have that, though. Unless he's getting double team. Scramble for the ball. Yui, after all that, still managing to come out on top of it. Sono taking his time up the midfield. Oh, looking for Yukri's, I believe, but just a little bit overzealous, and he goes for the header. Oh, I don't know if he should have gone for the header, but that is a safe... That is a safe choice in that situation. Big shot from no zero, but T-Bone. Big, 
big plays from him keeping Swamp in the game. And I think they're they're feeling a little bit more momentum. They're they're shaking off the rust from that last game. 9-1. Who who even did that happen to? Definitely not to Swamp. Snarb getting a lot of chances to dribble up field. Oh, but oh my goodness, and Tumbleweed. Brutal physical play here. We don't like that. Trying to injure one of the Swamp players. Oh, and uh, we have a free kick being done over because there was no whistle. All right, and that uh, yesterday caused a little bit of controversy. A goal being scored on the side of Tropics after a free kick when no whistle was blown. So I believe refs are just trying to prevent that sort of situation from happening again. Tumbleweed dribbling to the side. Trying to look into the box, and that's really all he's trying to do at this point. Try and get some open shots to either Fire Demon or No Zero, but there's just not enough off ball movement. You need to, if you can't get open, you gotta move around. You know, staying in one spot, it's not gonna help you at all. And while they are moving a little bit, you need to have some real big movement, you know. Rotate to the other side of the field. Have both players rotate at the same time uh, to try and confuse the defenders on the other side. Ball still in play. No zero. He's almost wide! Oh, and he just takes one extra dribble. He just needed to shoot before that one extra dribble. He was all wide open, and it would have been purely on T-Bone to stop that shot. But Savannah... The Savannah second, it's coming back in play. They just need to take a little bit less time. Make a decision just a fraction quicker. Pass back into, into T-Bone Sono, managing to stop that corner play from Savannah. Yui, the block back into Kingston. Kingston, sizing up Snarb. He gets past him. He gets the pass into Yui. Oh, a good setup, but just a little bit too slow on uh, the passing there. And Savannah were at a very good position blocking off the angle that Yui would, would have liked to see. Tumble again. He's just trying to get these, these uh, passes into the small box. Currently nothing finding its mark so far. Maybe, maybe he's feeling, uh, you know, trying to play a little bit like LeBron James at the moment, trying to get uh, a little more of his teammates involved, but he might need to transition to Michael Jordan and just do it himself. Kingston sizing up the top of the key. He's got three people on him. He's got to find a way to get that ball out. Tumble, managing to secure the possession off of a self-steal. Oh, he just completely fakes out Sono. Sono thought he was going to jump. And he just goes over his head and fired him and he doesn't get it! Oh my goodness, what a series of plays from No Roblo. Managing to keep that ball out of the net. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. I'll, you see a lot of goalies, as soon as it goes off the crossbar... It's such a, a stressful moment, and it's hard to keep your focus and manage to stop the secondary shot after that. No zero wide open, and T-Bone, he still gets it. Absolutely unbelievable. He's playing out of his mind. He has risen out of the murky water and become the swamp monster we've all wanted to see. Sono taking his time in the half-court offense. Taking his time, absolutely taking his time, not overplaying in any sense of the word. Oh, very, very close pass in, almost getting to Eucharist, but this is a dangerous situation. Tumble, he's just taking his time, though. He just needed to commit. Commit to the fast break, and you could have gotten past Waldo. And Yui now, with a, with a possible shot. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Oh, me, oh, my. 
that is that's got to feel bad for Yui. You know that was going to be almost certainly going to the back of the net. Oh my goodness! And Sono, uh, paying back the favor, trying to deliver a traumatic brain injury to Tumbleweed himself. And we got the whistle. Free kick in. Oh no, zero. He just hesitates a little bit. Uh oh, and that's a glitch dribble. That is a certified glitch dribble. Just, it goes on a little bit more strange arc. Just pops straight up. I'm not sure exactly what causes it, but it, uh, it's just a very specific angle you have to aim at. Baldo now. Trying to stop the 1v1 situation, and he does. Good choice, passing it back. You don't see very many teams opting for the pass back unless they're, uh, you know, very much up. You know, a lot of people, they just want to get up the field, up the field. They see passing back as losing progress. When really, you're not losing the possession, so that's progress that is gained in the long run. Sono getting doubled very strongly. Keeps possession. Dribbling in. Tumbleweed, good pickup though. Following him on the jump shot and managing to steal him. Into no zero. A little bit of a limp shot. A limp pass. Fire Demon, he's cutting hard. Fire Demon, he got it into him, but Waldo. That's the sort of passes that Savannah are looking for, but you need to get more and more chances because Waldo, he's not going to let very many of those go through. He's got great anticipation. As soon as he sees that ball coming in his direction, he's already crouched on top of the enemy player. You have to have great awareness to move immediately away from him. Dangerous scramble for the ball! Oh, but that's the end of half, and Savannah trying to get their... Uh, their last goal opportunity for the half. But no such thing happening. And we're looking at the scoreboard. 1-0 for Swamp. Not at all an insurmountable lead for Savannah, but you know they were definitely feeling that they had to get a goal during the first half to make things so much easier. That, that equalizer, it just makes everything so much easier. It makes the other team play a little bit more antsy. It gives you a bit more confidence. All it takes is just one goal, and that's what completely swings the game. In these low-scoring defensive games, the opportunities that you do get, you have to take advantage of them, because you're not going to get many. Alright, I believe we are indeed skipping the half, and we'll have Savannah Bring in the ball. And we've got the whistle from our head ref meat sale. Our head ref meat sale, uh, not just a player. He can also do the official job. And doing a very good job at that, managing to stay off of the field at all times, unlike a, a certain Savannah captain I know. But that's neither here nor there, because we've got Savannah on the field trying to get some stuff done. Honestly, maybe they should involve Snarb a little bit more in their offense. Go for the, the four-pronged assault, where you have the defense at the top of the key, rather than one of your... Uh, your offensive players. Big steal from Snarb. He's got a big fast break and he's putting on the pressure. This is exactly what you need to do in this situation. Goes with a cross court pass. Tumble deep in the box. Getting stolen by Sono though. T Bone. Good hesitation play. Managed to get it, but. Oh, Sono jumping over the ball, but Tumbleweed is not there to react to it in time, so Sono not punished for that mistake. But he's punished for that one. He's playing a little bit too zealous, trying to get that pass out, making it too obvious to Tumbleweed what he's trying to go for. And Tumble, hesitation play, dribble in. 
get stolen. The swamp, they just, they just clamp up. They absolutely know the right time to double and triple team and just shut down that passing. It's really imperative to know the right time and the wrong time to double team because you double team at the right time and the other team has no chance to get anything done. But you double team at the wrong, wrong time, you give the team an open opportunity and an easy goal. Kingston, he's looking for the long shot. But Savannah, they're ready and waiting. No heat checks will be allowed at this point. And we've got a little bit of the four-pronged offensive going on right now. No zero looking to Fire Demon, who is open but misses the pass. Oh, and Sono keeping control. There's been a lot of good anticipation on the side of Swamp. Keeping those jump shots in check. No jump passes going through. You will not see a single Savannah player going over the head of Swamp. Oh, a little bit too far of a pass there from Sono. And it's the same thing. If you don't perfectly set up your, your jump shot dribble, then you're just going to get stolen before you even get there. Or as soon as you start the jump, you need plenty of time to not just jump, but you don't get into the air instantly. So defense, they have plenty of time to react to it. Oh, that's out. That's out from Kingston. Kingston managing to get the ball, but not quite aware of where he's pointed. Oh, good pass in from no zero. Tumbleweed is trying. Oh, but he's so close to no Roblo. He goes for the top corner, but he's too close for it to get quite over no Roblo's hitbox. So no. Looking for the shot. But in Savannah, they've been getting a lot of stops. But they're just a little bit slow on the fast break moments. You see Fire Demon not pounding it downfield. He's just sort of gingerly getting down there. And that just gives Swamp so much time to set up. And time to breathe. You know, you're not really putting the sort of pressure you need to see. Tumble been absolutely extremely dangerous on the defensive side, though, making so many steals. Snarb, too, not making many uh, mistakes. And I don't know what's the deal with that. Not passing up to no zero. And it's the Savannah second. They just wasted it, and that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Swamp in their dark green grass color jerseys. Absolutely feeling it right now on the defensive end. Not letting a single thing into the small box. Unless it's just a complete scramble. Oh, Ukri's big shot! A little bit far from the goal though, so Louie not sweating that one too much. Big pass in. Tumbleweed with it. He's got passed! And that's a shot! And that's what they've needed. They've needed that one fast break opportunity, and there's the equalizer. So that puts a lot of pressure. Somebody's got to score a goal for this game to end. There is no other choice. Sono, big pass in. Trying to get the steal, and he gets the steal! Oh my goodness, that could have been it right there, but Savannah still keeping it in check. Very, very dangerous moment there, but Savannah, good awareness. Packing in the small box, making it so the ball cannot possibly get through. T-Bone, up to Sono. Taking his time, he's at the corner of the big box. The Fire Demon, clutch steal, winning that one-on-one -on -one situation. No zero, big lob up. And Savannah, I think they're feeling it. I think they're feeling it a little bit now. They Once you see that ball go in, you just know it's possible. Now Waldo should take his time here. Yep, he takes the attention of Tumbleweed and gives Swamp just a little bit more time before the full force of the defense comes back. Ukrees, big play, big uh, dribble, but gets stolen from below. 
It looked good, but he jumped on top of somebody who was attempting to steal, and Louie, a little dangerous. Playing a little bit crazy in the big box. Most of the time, if you see a goalie get stolen from, it is bad news bears. But we have not seen that quite yet, I believe. I believe we had not seen a single goalie being stolen leading to a goal. Waldo, big dynamite kick up to the midfield. Yui, though, overestimating where it's going to go. Fire Demon controlling the, the pace of play right now. Tumbleweed, he's going to look for no zero. It's a one-on-one -on -one for no zero if Tumbleweed can get it through. Oh, but it just, the ball just goes right through the middle of his legs. That's unfortunate. That might have been a, a lag situation or just a slight ping issue. But that can happen sometimes uh, where your ping just makes it so that the ball goes right through your legs. Good steal here from Savannah, forcing a corner. On the corner, you feel that you'd seem that, you know, you have the ball, you have a free pass in. It should be easy to get the ball in, but it's really not. If you don't get a good open opportunity very fast, and Louis, I'm not sure what that was. It was a very high-angled pass, giving Sono the opportunity, but he gets stolen from behind. Another corner kick. Now Yui, he's wide open. Gets it to Sono. He gets stopped in his tracks. And Tumbleweed, trusting his team, he sees that the, the possession is almost assuredly theirs. And he's going up fast. He's wide. He's got to get past Yui, and he does! And that's the same sort of uh, fast break goal that we saw last time. Tumbleweed doing the same thing. Just finally not taking his time. Just pounding up field and getting the opportunity. Now Savannah, they got to keep their defense up. They can't get complacent because Swamp, you get them one, one open opportunity and they won't waste it. Oh, Tumbleweed, another shot that's just crazy that's just crazy awareness there from the side of tumble oh and a little bit of bm jumping on the head of kingston now even though it's 3-1 i don't put it past swamp to you know come back in this game but it is already nine minutes in the second half it's gotta happen fast and that's a throw-in. Sono blocking the big dynamite kick from Snarb. And it gives Kingston an opportunity. This could be it. Yui's got to get past Snarb. He gets the jump up. Oh, but Snarb, he's there. He recovers. Savannah has just been playing great recovery defense, not letting these jump shots go in for free at all. No zero, and they're going for the fast break once again. But Yukri's managing to stop it. You saw Tumble already way upfield. He was ready. Now Kingston, he's going to make something happen here. Oh, and that's a corner kick. I'm not sure what Snarb was thinking there. He would have easily had the ball. Sono at the top of the key. Trying to get around these swarming Savannah defenders. He gets in the big box. It's very close to the small box, but he just gets stuffed. And Fire Demon, he's got a step here on Ucrees, but he's a little bit slow on his dribble pattern. And that's all Yui needs to get to the ball. Oh, and we've got Meat Sale again. The, the Swamp members are getting a little bit antsy. Not waiting for the whistle. So, wasting just a little bit more time, and you cannot afford to waste time at all right now. Currently, zero minutes of extra time added, so as soon as the clock hits 15, that's it. You've got about two minutes to make this first goal happen, and then two more minutes to make the second one happen. And it's feeling a little bit... it's feeling bad at the moment. Making some a little bit desperate plays... Sono, he's got the ball. Looking for an end to Ukrees, and he gets it. But Ukrees, he's 
crouching so he's not able to move. Oh, maybe! And that's it. That's the first goal of two. And we've got about three or four minutes left. Three minutes left, and hopefully Swamp can manage to get control of the possession time. They don't want to give Swamp any, or they don't want to give Savannah, rather, any time with the ball. And this is feeling good so far. Sono just can't make a mistake. And he does, and it's the commentator's curse. You just can't say it out loud because it's going to happen. He just barely jumps over the ball and Fire Demon. Making a very dangerous set of plays. Waldo needs to get it out, and he does. Sono, good decision, passing it up to Yui. Now Kingston has got to space out a little bit. He's playing just a bit too close to Yui right now. Manages to get past, though. Sona, once again, being doubled. Well, not quite doubled, but you see Snarb looming. Not so close to him, but oh my goodness, that was almost it. That was a great take there by Yui. But Savannah, their, their heads are large and in charge, and they're managing to keep all balls out of the net and away from Mr. Louie. Oh, an unfortunate clear. Kingston, he's got to keep possession of this, and he doesn't. And it's a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with Waldo and Tumbleweed. Waldo's got to do it here. Oh, and he gets past. And he gets the shot on, and that's a heartbreaker for Swamp. Back to a two-goal deficit. Not got much time at all. Only two minutes, a little bit less than two minutes on the clock. And they're just getting stolen left and right. They gotta make the most of this time. Into Sono. He goes for the shot. But Snarb is just there. He's got the angles. He went to geometry class. He knows all about the angles. And it's all about the angles. Not even giving a chance for Swamp right now. Waldo in the big box, and he just goes for the shot. They get the pass into him, and he just goes for the shot. Honestly, not a bad idea at this point. You gotta get all the offense you possibly can, and putting another uh, offensive player into the box just makes it so it's almost impossible to double-team. Waldo, big shot up, but just a little bit overzealous, but it bounces off the geometry! He also went to geometry class, and that's in! I'm not sure what was happening with this other ball. I, I know there's some... Uh, there's a lot of typing going on in the chat, so I'm not sure what was happening with that. But that's a goal for Swamp. And they brought it back to one. Oh, and actually, we do have a minute of extra time, so... We've got about like a minute and 20 seconds left. Savannah should really take their time here. There's no... Uh, you know... There's no shame in going for the stall tactics. Oh, unfortunate. In the in this situation, that is not the thing you want to go for. In most any other situation, you're fine with your team getting the header out of bounds, stopping the play. And again, but it just doesn't help you right now because it doesn't give you the ball. You have to go for the greedy steals. Big pass in. T-Bone, he's got to get it. But he doesn't, and Fire Demon, he dribbles out, tries to go back in. Oh, and T-Bone tries to catch the ball, but he drifts out of bounds. And just unfortunate, Swamp just can't get the offensive stop. They do get it, though. We do have Sable on the field. I didn't, I didn't notice when they subbed out no zero. Sono looking for the play. He gets past Snarb, but he's getting stolen. Oh, he just, he cuts back. And Snarb just ready for it. And I'm not sure why Sono is doing this. I don't know the point of knocking the ball back out of bounds. Uh, it's the end of the half. And the end of the game. And that is it. The team to end their cold streak is Savannah. They finally did it. They had to scrape and fight to get through it. But they did. Tumbleweed, some great 
great goals. I believe he had a hat trick this game and just putting the team on his back. Putting the whole Savannah, Lions and Tigers and all, putting it on his back. And Swamp, they got mucked up. They got stuck in the swampy, gooey water and just couldn't manage to make it out. They had the first goal, but not much else after that. Whew. And uh, after uh, some technical, technical delays and some issues today we managed to get it done we gave you the two games of the day summit coming out on top handedly and savannah managing to get their first win of the cup uh jam i'm not sure if you're in here but if you are i believe we're good to go okay maybe he's not Let's see where he where is he at? There he is, the man himself, the commissioner, overlooking the field, looming, watching, waiting. A terrifying presence, truly. Um, I guess, I guess what else is there to say, but, uh, Swamp just couldn't get it done on the offensive end. 